Jason Pickell. And today I want to go over another reason why your thyroid can go wrong, why you can continue to have all these thyroid or low thyroid symptoms, but your doctor says everything's normal and sends you on your way. And again, you may go to another doctor and they may say the same thing, or they may put you on um, an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication and, and just say, see how it goes. All right, so we can't do that. We've got to look a little further here. Now, one of the reasons you continue to possibly have low thyroid symptoms is due to a problem with an enzyme. And this enzyme helps convert your T4 hormone into T3 hormone. Now, just a few basics here. When you, what your thyroid gland does is it produces a hormone called T4. Now, T4 is inactive. It can't do a thing. But what it does do is it gets inside a taxi cab, goes in your bloodstream, travels down to a couple of areas, particularly your liver and your intestinal tract. And at those points, the majority in the liver, and at those points, it steps out of the taxi cab and it takes away, this, this enzyme cleaves away part of the one of the iodine molecules and now it turns into T3. Now T3 is the active form. Now still, while it's in those areas, it's not active, it actually gets in another taxi cab um, and it's bound up. But at that point, if that enzyme isn't turning T4 into T3, then we have a problem. And we've got to say, well, why isn't this occurring? Why isn't this? Because a lot of times, if you look at your labs that your doctors run, if you pull out that lab sheet, they've typically ran a TSH and a T4 free, and that's it. Sorry to say and sad to say, but they haven't looked at the whole picture. When you get your blood drawn, you need to have them look at not only your TSH, your total T4, your total T3, your free T4, your free T3, TBG or thyroid binding globulin, T3 uptake. They need to check your thyroid antibodies, TPO and, and thyroglobulin. We need to look at the whole thyroid picture, or otherwise we could miss everything. So once we can see that from those labs, we'll be able to tell maybe T3 is low, but T4 looks good. So that would mean it's a conversion problem. This is a problem where that enzyme is not being allowed to change T4 into T3. Now what could cause this? Why would a person have this type of a, a problem? Now one of the more common problems is if you have what I would call a bad gut. You have what's called dysbiosis. You've got a lot of bad bacteria living in there because you've had a horrible diet. You're not eating right or you have a, a, a gut problem already, like maybe uh, IBS or celiac disease or something like that, um, which is causing uh, gut inflammation. And this in itself will have a profound effect on your ability to convert those hormones in the gut. So that's one cause. Now another thing which kind of goes with that is too, inflammation um, or immune system issues uh, can cause this. If there's a lot of inflammation, in the system, not just in the gut, but let's say at different areas of your body, that will cause a decrease in this conversion overall, especially the closer it is to where those, hor those hormones are converted at. Now another thing that can occur too is elevated cortisol. Now we had talked about this previously in a different way, but cortisol can also stop that conversion of T4 to T3 which primarily occurs in the liver. That's the place where the, about 80% of it occurs. Now, another thing that can affect it too, which we've talked about in a previous uh, video, is serotonin and dopamine levels. Not the central serotonin and dopamine levels, but peripheral serotonin and dopamine level deficiencies. And this also can inhibit um, this conversion. And also another thing too, elevated testosterone. Now typically when we think of that, we think of just in men. No, but yes, if men are taking um, hormone creams, testosterone hormone creams, this can cause this problem. They'll get thyroid symptoms, big possibility. But in women, if a woman has blood sugar problems, polycystic ovarian syndrome, you're getting a lot of ovarian cysts, um, you're having insulin resistance, 
um, or just blood sugar problems in themselves, this will cause you to convert estrogen into testosterone and that in itself can stop this conversion and give you low thyroid symptoms. It can cause you to gain weight. Okay, and then also what's another cause? Oral contraceptives. And I see this happen so often. Women who are on oral contraceptives for any period of time can stop this conversion of T4 to T3. It affects what are called your binding globulins. Not a good thing and um, again, can cause those low thyroid symptoms. What's another problem? Liver problems. If that liver isn't working properly, if there's inflammation there, if phase one, phase two detoxification isn't working, all, a lot of different factors that can affect the liver, just poor diet, poor health itself, um, this will also halt that conversion of T4 to T3. Um, and again, going back to diet and um, vitamin or mineral deficiencies, this can all play into this whole picture there. But again, if you can't convert T4 to T3, that is gonna absolutely give you low thyroid symptoms. And if your doctor only checked your TSH and your total T4 or your T free T4, he's not gonna see it. He's gonna totally miss it, send you on your way. Not a good thing. So you need to keep pursuing. Don't give up, keep pursuing. Find a doctor who's gonna look for these things look at that whole list of hormones that I just talked about on your blood labs and see if this is an issue for you. You've got to be this private investigator and, and you've got to look deep into the case. So again, um, more information about all the different ways your thyroid can go wrong. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon on the next video.